guys, Stampers. It's Kim Vogel with the Basement Bunch Stampers, and I'm here for another terrific Tuesday video. Today, I'm going to share with you this really cute card that I created using the Bonanza Buddies bundle. Now, this bundle is sold for $38.50 and includes both a stamp set and coordinating dies that cut out all these awesome little animals. And I love the little koala bear. And it even has like little faces for you to stamp inside of those. Um, here's the face that fits inside of the little lion and everything like that. So let me share with you um, how this card goes together. Um, first, I guess I will show you the Bonanza Buddies stamp set here, actually the stamp set, and the dies. And the neat thing with these dies that took me a minute to figure out when I was cutting with them is that when you um, stamp, the um, the lion, it actually cuts the pieces out individually. So you'll have the head, you'll have the body, and then you'll have the little mane. And so this will actually um, be able to be adhered on to that. And then you have the little tail um, as well for the little lion. So let me kind of show you here. I'll be layering this together when we actually make the card. Um, but the neat thing is, is that the die that cuts out the mane will also cut out the tail. So you can see there that it's all in one. Um, just like this one right here, when you cut it out, it, it cuts the, the head out separate from the body. So it's kind of a neat little setup on how this works. And I already in advance have stamped the body and the mane so that um, to save me a little bit of time on today's video. Now the mane is stamped using um, Mango Medley car, um, ink, whereas the little body is done using um, crushed curry. So you get a little bit of variation in color there. So let's go ahead and get started and we'll make this card um, together today. I'm starting with a piece of Postal Cabana cardstock. This is cut five and a half by eight and a half. And I'm just gonna fold that in half. That becomes the base of the card. And then I have a piece of Whisper White. This is my mat, cut five and a quarter by four. And I'm going to stamp the happy birthday onto it using the Pretty Peacock ink. Now this ink is also part of the paper that comes with this um, awesome suite. So I didn't um, tell you much about the paper, but there is some designer series paper and it is called, the paper is called Birthday Bonanza Designer Series Paper, and it kind of coordinates with um, this awesome suite as well, including some ribbon and some pom-poms, all kinds of awesome things. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and place my strips of paper onto this. I have cut three different pieces of paper um, from that pack, and these are just cut at three quarters of an inch um, by I think it was about five. And all I'm gonna do is adhere these onto my card at an angle like this. And then I'm just gonna cut around the edges. So I'm really gonna only focus on putting some of the adhesive onto the middle here. And I'm just going to put this on here like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the next color on. And I'm just gonna kind of butt these right up together and that way there's no space in between. And then my final one is the yellow again. Um, and then you can see the cute little lion pattern on the back side of that. But for today's project, I'm choosing to use the more of the plain patterns. And then all I'm gonna do is take my paper snips and I am going to just cut these off along the, following the edge of my piece of cardstock for my mat get those out of the way. Now, if you're not following me on Facebook, I encourage you to search for Kim Vogel's Basement Bunch Stampers. I do Facebook Lives every Thursday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I'd love for you to, to follow me there. Um, this week, I'll be focusing on some Easter projects using a couple of our Easter stamps, so I'd love to have you there. Um, I now layered together a two-inch circle punch with our Starburst Punch cut those out in advance using, um, I used Coastal Cabana for the Starburst, and I used our, um, our, I'm thinking of what the color of that is, Pretty Peacock for that, and I'm going to just put a couple of, and I, all I have handy here is some mini dimensionals again, so I'm just going to go ahead and put that on with a couple of mini dimensionals, and I just kind of put that on there like that, and then I am going to layer my little lion on here. So I put this on as well with a couple of dimensionals. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put those on there like that. And layer him on there. And then I have the mane here that I'm gonna actually kind of put on a little bit on top of where the curve is there of his body. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on with a couple of dimensionals as well. 
Let me get them stuck off my fingernail here. Okay, there we go. And then I also layered his little head here on with a dimensional as well. I wanted this card to be all about kind of layering. You can kind of see how I've layered it um, all up on that. So I'm going to go ahead and put a dimensional on that. Stick that on there. And then the final thing is his little tail. And for the tail, I'm just going to use a glue dot because it's so tiny and I don't want it to get lost here. Whoops. Let me get that picked up here. Just gonna pull up a glue dot and stick his tail on with a little glue dot. Isn't that adorable? Look how cute and quick and simple that is. I'm then gonna go ahead and adhere this onto my card base using some snail adhesive. And then I'm gonna top this off with a bow using the um, Whisper White um, linen thread or Whisper White Baker's twine, I guess is the right name for it. And I actually did a double bow. And so I'm just gonna cut a piece of um, piece of this. I'm gonna double it over. And then all we're gonna do is make a bow with it. So let me see here, there we go. And I just like the look of a double bow. I think it gives it a little bit more dimension than doing a single bow. I find myself doing double bows a heck of a lot more often with linen thread and baker's twine um, than I used to do. I'm just gonna go ahead and adhere that down here on the bottom. And look at that beautiful, quick and simple card. Now this is a great way to also use up your scraps of paper to add a little bit of detail to the background of your card. But I love how that turned out and I really love this awesome Bonanza Buddy stamp set. So I, in the description of this video, I have the link to purchase this awesome bundle. Now the dies are on back order, but they will be back shortly. Um, I have all, and I'll have the list of all the supplies to make this card listed there as well. So make sure you check it out at kimsbasementbunch.com. And again, if you, please follow me on Facebook. Find me, search Kim Vogel's Basement Bunch Stampers. I am also on Pinterest, and you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel so you won't miss a single video that I, I do going forward. Thank you, everyone, and have a great day. Bye.